Hmm? What are you? Is <laughs> that what do you think? <laughs> Happy New Year! Welcome everyone, my name is Nuria and this is my sewing journey. For today's video, I have something very special, very sexy. For all of you that are gonna go partying on New Year's Eve, not me. I'll be in a house in the mountains. Hopefully there's gonna be a jacuzzi singing with guitars and looking at the sky and no partying and not throwing up the 1st of January. Best plan ever. But for all of you that choose the second option, I'm gonna prepare something very, very interesting for you. I'm gonna be making lingerie. Spoiler alert, there's not gonna be a montage at the end with me wearing the lingerie. I've been wanting to make underwear for a long time, but I never found the right pattern or the right anything. And finally, I found on Domestica, a place I love. This is not sponsored, but I really like their platform. I'm doing like 20,000 courses with them. And one of them is about lingerie by Lenteria en Casa. Eh? I'm gonna be doing lingerie, not lingerie. I don't even know why it's a lingerie. How is it in Spanish? Lenceria. And in Catalan? Well, apparently in Catalan we don't have a word for it. It's just underwear. If anyone knows the word, probably my brother. Just let me know, okay? I think this is gonna be a very, very, very messy project because it's Completely impossible to find the right materials, at least here in the Netherlands. I'm gonna try again when I go back to Spain for Christmas, but I cannot find things, okay? So I'm gonna go to the fabric store and we'll see from there what I do. Okay, see you in a bit! to every fabric store in South Holland and no one, absolutely no one, had the things that I needed. No one! Where am I supposed to go? To Spain? I went to McDonald's to eat my problems. Okay, so this is what I found in the fabric store. This is the tool. And this is the lace. As you can see, I could not find matching colors. So I might do everything with the lace instead. Because these colors are too different. Maybe with the dark one is nicer than with this one. I don't know, we'll see. I did find cotton jersey, but it's white. <laughs> so with the red is gonna be very ugly. Then, then for the straps, I found this. And they only had it in white which goes also horribly with the red. So yeah, this is more Bordeaux than red. I found this and this opening. They are 12 millimeters and 10 millimeters. I don't know how that's gonna go. And then for the retention elastic, I only found black. I think it should be okay because it goes inside. I don't think you can see it. For the rest one, I have a thousand million elastics here. I bought all of them that were this color because I didn't know which ones I was going to be using. This has all the ingredients to be a horrible mess, but let's go draw the pattern. I took all the measurements and now I'm going to start with the pattern. The course offers you two types of panties. I don't know if I'm going to do both or just one. I'll see how it goes. For now, I'll draw the pattern of both and I'll think about it. One is a bit more sexy and the other one is a bit more what I like, comfy. <laughs> I'm done with the pattern and now I have to decide if I do this one. This goes on my butt. Comfy, cute, or oh, sexy! <laughs> what 
I bought from Lace doesn't match the tool. So instead of mix and match, I'm just gonna do everything with Lace. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> it's impossible, I cannot fit this on there. What? So stupid, Nuria. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna go for the black one. We'll see, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. to put together the bralette and the first thing that she says in the video is don't forget to use an elastic that matches the color <laughs> it doesn't match but it's what we have color but it's not horrible for now you can see that you're supposed to give it a little bit of elasticity and here I forgot it's completely flat and here I gave it a little bit maybe like this you can see it better do you guys have something weird to celebrate New Year's Eve because in Spain we do something and I never thought that it was crazy but then I went abroad and I told people and they were like, what, do you actually do this? So we take a bag of 12 grapes. It's normally grapes for those people that don't like fruit and they use olives and candy or popcorn. You guys are weak. Just eat fruit. Yeah, it's good for you. And then we clean them. And then midnight time, we have the TV on and there's a big clock on TV. And then there are 12 bells. Like, I don't know if you call it bells, but like dong, dong. And then with every dong, you have to eat one grape. And then you start New Year with your mouth full of juice <laughs> and almost choking and it's wonderful, it's wonderful. It's a great start of the year. And I drove three hours to feel the rain I'm tired of the sun And every morning all feels the same Where did all the rainy days go? The gusts from New England chills my bones Thawed out by the California sun Thing for me in the middle of January Why am I in shorts? It's still warm I drove three hours to feel the rain Cause I'm tired of the sun And every morning all feels the same So now I have unlimited energy. I have the feeling it's too small. It's uh, <laughs> everything is wrong about it, but I'm gonna try it. I definitely didn't use the elastics I was supposed to use, so <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. But it's a good first try, it's a good first try. I don't think I'll ever wear it because this is not holding anything, nothing at all. But it's cute. I need these things. Guess what? I only have two of these and I need 
two, four, six, eight, and I need eight, okay? And then I have these super small ones that they are not gonna help me. Then I'm going to use this here. They're different, but it's all I've got. So I promise next time I take a course, I'll do it better. I promise. Let's try it on. This is the, the normal one. <laughs> it's so low, I don't like it that low. Next time I would do it a bit higher. And now the Cersei one. Look at this. I'm done. Here we have. It looks so much better in camera. It's not as nice in person. It was an interesting experience. I thought it was gonna be easier, but I have to say not the way you are thinking. What was the most difficult thing was finding all the pieces. It was absolutely insane. I could, I went everywhere, everywhere. It's not super bad, it's just that the elastics are not going to hold, I think. The domestic course is very nice, I have to say. For me, I don't enjoy courses that much because they go a bit too slow for me. I like reading and then watching a series while I'm doing stuff. But in this case, I had to watch the video over and over because then you miss things. I like to have a paper and write on the paper and mark things and because otherwise I just forget. Also, this course is very nice because you can make underwear and it's gonna fit you 100% because you can change the size. But I'm a big fan of taking the measurements and doing it absolutely perfect so you know that whatever you do is gonna fit you a million percent without having to change anything. I have some more tutorials that I want to try. So after New Year's, I'm gonna do it. But for now, very happy. <laughs> happy New Year and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye!